All right, everybody, I would like to welcome you to my 14th game play, in which I'll be playing my sixth game of Jeopardy, of my run of Jeopardy for the Sega Genesis, in which so far I have won $203,643. Let's see if I will be able to win more cash. Here we go. This is my 14th game play, game number six of Jeopardy for the Sega Genesis. Here we go. All right, so we have Rodney and Harold today. It's the Met. Okay. Here is the Jeopardy round. Here are the categories. Be Bear facts. Potpourri. Fathers. Medicine. Travel. And finally, uh, poetry. Okay. Here we go. I'll have fathers for 100. This actor, the father of triplets, was just a boy on the Waltons. Who is Richard Thomas? You are correct. Okay. Let's do fathers for two. He was a mother of invention, but father to Moon, Unit, and Dweezil. Rodney. Sorry. All right, doesn't know it. Let's see if Harold knows it. Pretty sure some of you might remember the last time when I was in the hole during the during the Jeopardy round, like for the majority of the time. So hopefully I can redeem myself. Here. Who is Frank Zappa? That's the correct response for this clue. Let's do Fathers for three. Oh, the camera keeps moving. He show he shows up for New Year's with an hourglass and a scythe. Who is Pa Kettle? <laughs> Boom. Sorry. Wait, what? Really? Oh, wait. Ah, damn it. I now know it. It's not Pot Kettle. Freaking Father Time. I am so stupid. I said the wrong one. You are correct. Spoiler alert, Paul Kettle is, in, is actually in, the, in one of those last two clues in Fathers. But we will not be going there. Favorite, favorite soap opera disease characterized by memory loss. What? Favorite soap opera disease characterized by memory loss? Let's see if Harold knows it. He does. He, uh, he does. Sorry. <laughs> he, I just said he does. Rodney. Oh, I was going to say amnesia. You are correct. I was thinking that in my head. Medicine 2. To a layman, it's lockjaw. To a layman, to a layman it's lockjaw. Rodney. What is tetanus? You are correct. Titans. Potpourri 1. The Latin word radix, meaning root, is the root word for this root vegetable. 
Uh, what is radish? What is the radish? You are correct. Boom. Let's do potpourri too. Cabinet member who outranks all other cabinet members. Uh, Harold. Sorry? Oh, wait, I think I know this one. I'm going to take a shot. Who is the Secretary of State? If it's wrong, then I don't care. You are correct. And it is right. Ha ha. It just came out of my he- uh, out of my mind. Potpourri 3. The job of a nose in France is to create these. Uh, what are perfumes? I think that's right, perfumes. I was actually going to say cheese at first, but but no, it's got to be a scent. It's got to be a scent, right? So, it's, so, so, so I think it is perfumes in this one. I'm doing good. Way better than last time. Uh, uh, Potpourri 4. The surname Wallace originally denoted a man from this country. Wallace. Oh, God. This could be any country. But I'm going to take a shot. I'm going to take a shot. I'm going to take a pass and, and, and throw it to Harold. And he, and he knows it. What is Wales? You are correct. That actually does make sense, if I'm being honest. Three-letter Sandberg weather phenomenon that comes in li- that comes in our little cat f- on little cat feet. This is in poetry. I have no clue. Let's see if Harold knows it, and he doesn't. Sorry. Set the. Just making sure the audio is good so that you guys can hear it better. Let's see if Rodney knows it. And he does. What is fog? You are correct. Yup. Poetry 2. New England swinger of birches who read his poetry for JFK's inauguration. Harold. Who was Robert Frost. You are correct. That's right. Father's Four. Percy Kilbride played him in a series of rural comedies. Oh, God. Uh, I think this one is Pa Kettle. That's why I said spoiler alert when I got uh, Father Time wrong. That uh, Pa Kettle wasn't one of these two clues of Father's. And this one is indeed Pa Kettle. Okay, so we're good with that one. Uh, let's do Father's Five. Finish that one out. He was father to Queen Elizabeth I. Who was Henry VIII? You are correct. Let's do uh, potpourri for five. This language spoken in the Pyrenees, uh, Pyrenees does not belong to the Indo-European group. Rodney. What is Basque? Uh, you are correct. Basque, Basque, I don't know. I think it's Basque. Bare fact, 100. There's the Daily Double. All right, that's fine. No big deal. So, uh, Rodney has 1,000. He'll do it without 500, actually. Here's the clue. In song, Davy Crockett was said to have killed him at bar when he was only this age, which is three. Obviously, I knew that one, that answer, but it's totally fine. Uh, travel 100. This necessary document cost $10 in 1980 and $35 in 1990. Hmm. What is a passport? Boom. 
Boom. Oh. You are oh. I added a T there, but they still accepted it. A pet sport. <laughs> Travel to. Non sexist name for a stewardess. Oh, shoot. I don't think I know this. I don't think so. Non sexist name for a stewardess. Non sexist. Rodney. Sorry? No response there from Rodney. Let's see if Harold knows this. Hopefully he gets some money. Some dough, some cash on him, baby. <clears throat> what is a flight attendant? Oh my god, I am wow. You are correct. I am honestly surprised that it is flight attendant and that's why it's a non sexist. That's probably why. Bear facts too. The original Smokey the Bear became a popular attraction at this city zoo. Oh. Um, I don't think I know it. And this is in Bear Facts. Sorry? Ronnie doesn't know this one. Let's see if Harold knows it. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, Excuse me. Harold. Uh, yes, he knows it. What is Washington, D.C.? You are correct. Yep. Poetry 3. Great Scott who wrote the poem Old Lang Syne. Oh, who wrote that? Ah, I know who sang it, Dan Fogelberg from the early 80s. But who wrote it? Who was the great Scotland, Scottish writer who wrote it? <laughs> He's from Scotland, right? Sorry? Probably why it says Great Scott there, but you know. Okay. Sorry. Ronnie has no clue either. Same with me, so I'll pass. You know the correct response? Robert Burns, okay. Bear Facts 3. The constellation Ursa Major, meaning the Great Bear, is, is better known by this name. Uh, what is the Big Dipper? You are correct. You got that right. Uh, Bear Facts for 4, Hundo, please. They are the best swimmers of all bears. What are the polar bears? This is why I this this is the game I like to see. I don't like being in the hole. You are correct. The lowest hole, the lowest score that I ever got in the hole out of out of all the out of all these nine months of playing Jeopardy of the Sega Genesis, negative eleven hundred is the lowest score I've got, and that was crazy. What we just witnessed on Saturday. Bear Facts Five. Name of the mascot few Americans got to see at the 1980 Olympics. Some of you who are new to this channel never got to experience the February through August run of my gameplay of Jeopardy because I got harassed for radio videos. So thankfully they're back. So you are correct. what is Masha? That's right. So thankfully you'll get to experience these gameplays. So for the new fans. Travel for three. A vaccination is no longer required since this disease has been eradicated. Uh, what are measles? Oh, wait, no, it's not measles because it says what is. What is smallpox? If it said what are, my guess would have been measles, but it says is, so, so, is, so it's smallpox. You are correct. And it is. Good. All right, uh, let's do poetry for four. Poetic device illustrated by a peck of pickled peppers. Poetic device? Are we guessing the person? Wait. Uh, no. Wait, no. Poetic device illustrated by a peck of pickled peppers. God, I don't... Ah, oh, damn it. I don't think I know it. 
Dang it. Sorry? Yeah, I'm lost. I want to know. I don't know. I, I want to know the answer right now. Uh. Uh. Excuse me. All right, Harold. Sorry? Ah, back in the hole for you. I'm at a good 2,000. Which is way better than the last time, obviously. Harold. Sorry? New. All right, what's the answer, Alex? No, the correct response. Alliteration. Got it. All right, screw poetry. Let's do... Tri <laughs> Let's do travel for four. Uh, for four. There we go. Why wouldn't I move it? Tags for luggage headed for this airport appropriately led, led red laps. Harold. Sorry. Dude, you buzzed in fast. How can you know it? Why didn't you know it? Come on, bro. This is Jeopardy. It's not rocket science. What is loss? Angeles, that's the airport. Okay. You are correct. Travel five. Ship passengers are greeted and dunked by King Neptune the first time they cross the this line. First time they cross this line. No idea. Sorry? Harold, now you're the now Harold's the uh the um the gumpy one. Gumpy? I was gonna say something. I was gonna say another one. The equator. You are correct. I was I was honestly guessing the equator in my head, not gonna lie. Uh medicine three. Two letter factor inherited inherited in blood cells. What is R H? Boom. You are correct. Uh, same category for four. <gasps> Excuse me. British sailors were called limeys for the fruit they ate to ward off this disease. What is scurvy? Although I don't know what scurvy... Wait. Scurvy? Yeah, scurvy. Right? Sorry? Oh my god. Wow. Damn, I wanted a higher score. So it's not scurvy. Okay. Sorry? Harold, negative, negative 1600. He is not doing good. Okay, Harold. Last chance here. Damn. Sorry. No, the correct response. Scurvy, so I spelled it wrong. Okay, that's all right. Let's do medicine five. Finish it out. From Latin to please, medicine given just to humor a patient. What is play spell? Last clue. He said his co his poem Kubla Khan was inspired by a dream. Oh, a dream. Who was Martin Luther King? Oh, oh my God! I wow. Sorry. It says what is? Are you really kidding? It said he said his poem Kubla Khan was inspired by a dream. So how so how is it what is not who is? We're not guessing the actual person who wrote the freaking poem. Sorry? That's just balls. Huh? What is Samuel uh, Taylor Coleridge? Oh, wow, wait. You are correct. I actually remember um, uh, buzzing that in on the Found Jeopardy clue that one time. I think it was actually on my last game. You know, the one where I was in the hole for the whole time in double Jeopardy, uh, for the whole time in, in the Jeopardy round. 
But yeah, Samuel Coleridge is what I buzzed in. And uh, he typed in Samuel Taylor Coleridge. So, uh, but hey, there's no, there is nothing wrong with guessing, you know, unless you try. But hey, Harold got it correct. So he has ne so he has negative 1,100. He's still in the hole though. Rodney 900, I have 1,900. Let's see if Harold will get out of the hole and hopefully I'll have a much better score in the round of... Yeah, double jeopardy. I paused too long. Kind of All right, time for the categories. You are the category. Sports trivia. Bodies of water. Chocolate. Ooh. The new world. Renaissance, and finally, word wordplay. Oh lord. Okay. Uh, let's do the new world for a thousand. Let's do a James Holzhauer here. The new world a thousand. In 1664, the English, in the, in the name of the Duke of This, seized Manhattan from the Dutch. In the Duke of This. Uh, uh, what is the Duke of... Uh, Windsor? It's either that or Edinburgh, but I'm going to say uh, uh, Windsor. Damn! So me and Rodney are tied. Rodney. York. You are correct. The Duke of York. So I was wrong for either. Okay. You know, Re uh, Windsor and Edinburgh. Okay. The New World for two. In 1862, L.A. Sally claimed the lower Mississippi country for Louis the 16th. Calling it this. I'm not that good at Roman numerals. Except for Hen except for the 8th. Because I, because I got Henry the 8th right. All right. Harold, let's get you out that freaking hole. Let's get you out there. It's never fun being in the red, isn't it? Or the or the hole in this case, since the since the color is still yellow on our on our podiums. What is Louisiana? Yep. Okay. Harold is kind of pushing it down. The New World 4. On February 6th, 1952, she was proclaimed Queen of Canada. She was proclaimed claimed Queen of Canada on February 6, 1952. I don't think I have a clue. I don't think I know it. Let's see if Harold knows it, though. Yep. Who is Queen of, or, or Queen Elizabeth II? She was Queen of Canada? What did she... Sorry, guys. My dad walked in. Sports Trivia 2. A perfect score in figure skating. What is 6? I think it is 6, right? It's gotta be. Yes. I might do I might do good in this category. Let's do Sports Trivia 4. Italy and this South American nation have won the most World, world Cups in soccer. What is Brazil? I think uh, one of the one of the greatest soccer players is from there. I want to say Messi, right? I think Messi is from Brazil, right? What did he play in Brazil? I'm not that sure. Sports trivia six. The real name of this great middleweight was Walker Smith Jr., who was Sugar uh, Sugar something. Who is Sugar Ray Leonard? It's got to be that. It's got to be. Wait, oh, oh, wait, no. Sugar Ray Robinson. Wasn't it wasn't there like a singer? Sugar Ray? I think there was a singer named Sugar Ray Robinson, right? Or just Sugar Ray in general? Uh eight hundred. In 1924, this Boston team was the first American team to join the NHL, National Hockey League. What are the what were the Bruins? The Boston Bruins. Wait, am I spelling it right? I think. Yeah, I think I got the U and I backwards. Yep, it is indeed the Boston Bruins. Uh, same category, a thousand, please. Game where two four-man teams slide stones over ice toward a circle. What is curling? Hey, I ran my sports. I ran the sports trivia category. I don't know much about sports, but I am surprised that I uh, was able to run it, though. 
Renaissance too. The term Renaissance is, a, is from a French word meaning this. What is rebirth? Yep. Uh, Renaissance 4. Might not do good in this category, but we shall see. Carolingian is the term used to describe his empire. Uh, Rodney. Doesn't know. Harold. Doesn't know. A little disappointed in you, Harold. I was disappointed in myself in my last game. Now, now I'm disappointed in uh, Harold. Who was Charlemagne, right? Is that how you pronounce it? Charlemagne? Uh, let's do Renaissance 6. Some say he based the ruthless ruler in the prince on Cesar Borgia. Harold. Oh my god. Negative 1500. Holy crap. <laughs> Not that good. Ugh. All right, Rodney. Who was Machiavelli? You are correct. Machiavelli. Okay. Chocolate two. American caramel king who became a chocolate czar. Who is Hershey? Love me some Hershey. I am a chocolate connoisseur, believe it or not, folks. Let's do chocolate for, uh, for four, please. There's the first daily double. So I have 4,300. I will... I... I'm going to risk everything. Put, take it or risk it. All cocoa beans, cocoa. I think it's the same thing, right? All cocoa beans are grown in the cocoa belt. Yeah, so, so it's the same thing. Twenty degrees north and south of this. What is the equator? I'm gonna be so ashamed if it's wrong. I think it is the equator. Yes, eighty-six hundred. Let's go, baby. Uh, chocolate six. Other daily double, yes. All right, 8,600. Shall I do everything? I will. Let's do it, baby. Five cups of zucchini or one bonbon at 75 of these. What are calories? Yes. Oh, my goodness. $17,200. Just like that, folks. Chocolate 8. Cadbury was the first to use these to stop complaints about candy being squashed. Uh, what are boxes? You are correct. I am killing it. $18,000. Uh, same category, 1000 Chocolate was a medicine for dysentery, a dysentery to these Mexican Indians. Uh, oh, how do you say, oh, oh, oh I think it's uh, these, right? Who are the abortions? That's my guess. Sorry? Oh, not the abortions, okay. Besides, I think I spelled it wrong also, so. It's all right. It was only worth a thousand, so I'm not that pissed. Oh, wait. I think I know it now. <laughs> it's not the freaking abortions. It's another one. Frig me. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Harold, okay. Uh, yeah, the Aztecs. <laughs> and I said the abortions. <laughs> but hey, at least I gave it to Harold. Now he's half out of the hole. 
Renaissance 8. This banking family, led by Lorenzo the Magnificent, ruled, ruled Florence and made it an art center. Uh, who are the Banshees? Right, the Banshees? I think it is, right? The Banshees? What? It's not the Banshees? I am, I am confused. <laughs> I was killing it with those two Daily Doubles, and now I got like two responses wrong. What the heck's going on? Oh, who are the Medicis? Medicis. So I got it wrong. Okay. That's fine. But hey, Harold's out of the hole. I made him happy. Wordplay too. The artificial turf in this stadium is nicknamed Mardi Gras. In this stadium. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to take a shot and say, what is the... Uh, I don't know. The, the Boston... I don't know. Sorry? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I just wrote Boston. I just couldn't... I just didn't know it. I just wrote anything... I, I just wrote a random thing like Boston, so... What is the... New Orleans Superdome? Okay. Okay. I would have been mad if he got it wrong again, but... You know. Renaissance on to Thousand. Don't get angry if you don't know this epic poem written in 1516 by Ludovic Ludovico Ario Ariosto. Uh, what is, or wait, wait, let, let me actually type it and see if if I'll spell it right, and then I'll say it. What is Orlando Furioso? You are there we go. All right, getting that thousand back. Let's do the New World Six. Discoverer of South America's Iguacu I Falls, his name means head of a cow. Uh, Her uh, Rodney. W who was Cabasa Cab Cabasa de Vaca? Uh, wordplay four. When reversed, this month becomes a sweet potato. What is May? I think May is a good month. You are correct. Okay, now I'm doing good. Let's do the same category for six. As a verb, it means looked at. As a noun, it's a well-known, well-worn, popular saying. I don't know it. Uh, Harold. What is saw? You are correct. Mm. Okay. The New World 8. On September 7th, 1822, Pedro declared this country's independence from Portugal. Oh, Rodney buzzed in fast there. And he knows it. What is Brazil? You are correct. Uh, excuse me. Wordplay 8. In conversation, it means nonsense, but in a deli, it's a cold out. Ow. Uh, in conversation, it means nonsense. Uh, I'm going to take a shot and say, what is hogwash? Why not? Sorry? No, not hogwash. Okay. All right, Harold. Bol Baloney. Damn it, I'm so stupid. At the end, it said deli, so it had to be meat related. It's two two common English five letter words that end in yimph. I don't what? I still don't. I don't get it. What? All right, Harold. What are oh lymphs? Wait, what are lymph and nymph? That's right. Okay. Bodies of water for two. One category left. The, sesqu the, sesqu the Sesquihana Rapa Hancock The Sesquihana Rapa Hancock and Potomac all flow into this bay. Rodney. 
What is Chesapeake Bay? That is right. You are yep. Uh, the 400. The only great lake lying completely in the U.S. What is Michigan? You are correct. Okay. 600. The Gaza Strip lies along lies along this body of water. What is the Mediterranean Sea? Oh my god. It's a, it's a long word. Boom. 800. The Chagres River supplies the water for the locks of this canal. What is the Panama Canal? I'll try to make this gameplay faster than 40 minutes. Because I know you guys have better things to do. Last clue in the round. The two straits separating Asia from European Turkey are the Bosporus and this. What are what is the Dardanelles? All right, so I have a good nineteen thousand four hundred. Uh, Harold with twenty nine hundred and Rodney with twenty five hundred. Very good. Very good game. I must say. And now it is time for us for uh, to play Final Jeopardy and here's and here comes the category which it will be firsts. All right. <clears throat> Let's see if this clue will be easy or not. Oh, I know this. I'm going to do 5,267. Dan, Go Dan Golan Paul founded both this first radio quiz show and an almanac of the first of the same name. What is information, please? Yes, sir. Okay. So, Rodney got the answer wrong, goes down to 1,500. Harold got it wrong, goes down to 1,100, right? Yeah. And I got it correct. So my score in this game is $24,667. All right. So, let's see my uh, six-day total for today. Oh, I think I... Wait. Do I remember it? Yeah. Okay. I was going to forget it. I think that was right, right? All right, so my score right now is 200... All right, so my six-day total is $228,310. That is my six-day total. I'll let, you have a, I'll let you have a look right there. So that's my six-day total. And I'd like to thank all of you for watching my sixth game of Jeopardy for the Sega Genesis and my 14th gameplay. I'll see you all tomorrow for gameplay number 15. See ya.